The Ohio State University Lady Buckeyes were in action tonight at Jesse Owens Memorial Stadium hosting the Pittsburgh Panthers. Brandon, you want to give us a rundown on what we saw today? Yeah, Ohio State, you see in that graphic, won 2 0 here in Columbus, improving their record of 3 0 on the year. We've got some highlights for you. So, Ohio State got off to a good start tonight, very physical in the midfield, a lot of corner kicks. I think they believe it was 14 2, the total was. And so, right here, you see Ohio State being physical early on, winning possession in the midfield. It seemed that every 50 50 ball was ending up at Ohio State, as those were one of the couple of those shots. That went wide. Some fancy footwork there by Ohio State. Prince tries to go over the net with that one, but couldn't find the back. So and in the, in the first half, uh, we had Diggler on the goal with the assist from Fuller on a corner kick in the 36th minute. Yeah, right there is a great cross in by Fuller, and then Diggler gets in there. And another opportunity there, Walcott crosses the ball in but nobody could find it. That was the end of the first half right there as the time went down. And then a header over by Prince. Couldn't find anything. And then some physical play was really the story for tonight. So you see a late challenge there by a Pitt Panther. Extremely yeah. physical game played by both sides with a scare for Ohio State. Lindsey Agnew came out with an injury in the second half. Yeah, Lindsey Agnew came out, which is a freshman for Ohio State and had really promising there. And here is a second goal which happened, and just an unbelievable, beautiful finish there by an Ohio State Buckeye. And really the story for the Pitt Panthers was Nicole D'Agostino, their keeper. And that is the highlights for the Ohio State Buckeyes. I'm Brandon Beam, along I'm with Aaron Urian, and Ohio State wins 2-0 over Pittsburgh, improving their record to 3-0 on the year. You're watching the Big Ten Network.